It's a lot, That's but great. it's a good Thank lot. Um, it is a lot. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. What we want. That's the, yeah. What that's that's want. the interview over. Any question you ask, <laughs> any, any question you ask, we're just going to give you the answer. It's a lot. It's a lot. Done. Royce, lot. you play Dr. Watson. How did you prepare for that kind of role? I didn't really think about who played him before. You know, I, I, I knew I knew the list of people I was I was joining and it's fantastic. But to me, you know, he's another character and he's, you know, he's my version of Watson. So I got to uh, I got to do what I wanted to do with him. And, and I think as soon as I got the audition, I had this this fully rounded picture in my head of, of the type of man he was. Henry, mm. I mean, we hear a lot about Sherlock Holmes, but we don't really see you until later on. So when you make your grand entrance, so while your name was, you know, around everyone's mouths and we were hearing Sherlock Holmes, were you kind of on set watching and seeing the series unfold before you joined? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't on set watching other people's scenes, but I was, uh, yeah, I was aware. You know, I remember going to the read-through for the block, the, the episodes where I appear and everyone's here and they all know each other and they've got this great vibe going. And I'm like, I felt... You know, I felt like I had so much catching up to do just to like reach their level. And I remember being sat opposite Jojo and Mikel at the read through and just watching them like spark off each other. And I couldn't, I was like looking down at the script because it felt like the, the, the kind of rapport that they had, I felt like they weren't reading the lines. I was just like, these guys are just improving these scenes. This is insane to me. And then there's me, who I, you know, I hadn't done a day's work on it yet, feeling like I had so far to go. And, you know, as you say, there's a bit of a bit of a reveal and we've had some images which have been released already. So Sherlock is not supposed to look uh, and, and feel as we've seen him before. Mm. So I, I was sat there at the read through looking like I do now, looking a bit more normal. So I knew that, that with the hair and makeup team and the costume department, we were cooking up something that was going to be a bit more transformative and a bit scarier. Um, so I was kind of feeling like, oh, you know, don't judge me. Don't judge me like as you see me now. Trust me, we're going to do something. We're going to do something cool here. Um, but and no, you were great I, at the read through, man. Honestly, you were great at the read through. Really? I, know you I felt like no I was time to prepare, pace. man. You were awesome. Yeah. Yo, I was thrown into that with, yeah, it was a really, as often is the way, Stephanie, and I'm sure you've heard actors say this before, you know, you, you, you audition for things and months go by and you don't hear something and then you know, you might send another tape and they want to see something else. And then suddenly out of nowhere, you get the call and they need you to go and do something on Monday. And, you know, all this, mm. the best will in the world, you've got all these ideas. Like, you know, sometimes you, I hear actors say like, well, you know, I spent six months uh, researching this particular type of Tai Chi. And it's like, you know, I, I was, I was thrown in and the majority of uh, actors are just thrown in and you're just, you're, you know, you're trying to piece together and come up with a plan. You're thrown to the wolves and you just have to deal with it. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Royce, how would you describe this whole series for someone who, you know, is not familiar, who's just flicking and might want to watch the irregulars? The pitch, the pitch. Well, I would say it's energetic. It's dark. It's like no no other Watson and Sherlock story or no other world you've seen before. It's, it's, there's such a pace to it, which I think is set by the irregulars, you know, the young kids with their energy. And, and the, 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 the main story is the driving force. And it's, I think when you think you've got ahead of it, if it, it throws you a curveball and it takes you this way or that way. And off that, that main story, there are these amazing little subplots that all link into one and it's building this, building this, building this mystery. And it's really exciting. Yeah. I mean, it, it gets you. As soon as you start watching, you want to watch the next one and the next one. And I feel like, I know you all, That's like, it. I feel like you're all my mates by the, you know, the end of the series.